Hi, my name is Bill Pollock from PTC. We're here at uh, the Paris Air Show 2023. Today's demonstration is about how digital transforms physical. So this demo is really about the foundational elements uh, to much higher use cases such as MRO, CBM Plus, and so forth. So through CAD design, you know, capturing uh, you know uh, engineering content uh, and and being able, having the ability to um, build models, create simulations that are then stored in PLM. Um, so this really is sort of defining the future of a product. And now through enabling connecting products, you know, through our IoT technology, such as capturing telemetry data off of off of equipment, such as this F35 that we have here, and then delivering the content in the context of let's say services, uh, training materials, uh, inspection capabilities, things like that. So in today's demonstration, we'll be using this uh, F-35 remote control um, aircraft. Inside the aircraft, we have a computer known as a, as a Raspberry Pi. And on that Raspberry Pi, we've um, installed and implemented a software agent that communicates with the plane to operate the flaps, capture temperature information, and so forth. So what we have here is a, is a, um, is a Vuforia experience this screen here is, is capturing the, the architecture of, of, the, of the demonstration, where I have CAD data that has been ingested inside of Euphoria Studio. I'm connected to ThingWorks that captures that information off of the plane, as well as operating the plane. And then we're also to connected to Windshield PLM and Fracas, uh, Risk and Reliability, which is uh, an acronym for Failure Report and Corrective Action System. And we deliver this contact you know, this content through an iPad or a wearable device. So we'll start the demonstration. Since I have uh, uh, three different tail numbers that exist, I'm going to, you know, establish a connection to the, to the asset. Um, so now I'm looking at the, uh, the plane, uh, this given tail number or serial number. So this is a model target and the, and the Vuforia view is, is looking for this particular shape. So when I connect to it, you saw that whitewash that tells me that the plane is now connected to my servers um, up, in the, up in the PTC cloud portal. This screen is basically telling me that I'm connected to those servers. And now the first thing that it presents with, to me is a set of uh, is information about this particular serial number. We get some general information. We have some alerts that are coming off of the airplane, such as landing gear vibration, avi avionics uh, high temperatures, and some recommended services. Uh, some other pieces of information that we may want to get is uh, the fracas incidents. So this has actually ran a query against my PTC Cloud Portal instance and brought back a set of incidents, you know, sort of the history of, of the incidents that, it, that have been recorded over time. So if we, if we kind of go back and look at our uh, how digital transform physical, starting from the CAD perspective, we'll look at, we have a palette here where I can look at certain things, you know, that came, that were actually authored in our Creo parametric tool, such as our CFD analysis from Cymerix. And this is sort of comes, you know, think of this as sort of conceptual design, early design phase uh, studies, design reviews, you know, those types of things. So I can basically look at the streamlines and the airflow going across the, uh, across the aircraft. The next example would be uh, simulations. So again, using Creo's capability, Creo Parametrics capability, to mechanize things such as this, uh, such as the vertical, vertical takeoff nozzle, um, we're basically articulating that nozzle, and all this data was, or this, this simulation was authored inside a Creo Parametric that we now leverage in the AR experience. So that's just one example on the CAD side. Looking at it from a PLM perspective, we have the ability to connect to windchill and bring back the bill of material. So as I, as I you know, walk around the plane, I can tap on certain objects that gives me metadata that's actually coming from the windchill PLM system. So I can do that just by touching the screen, but also I can interact with that, with the product structure itself, and you know, open and collapse you know, certain leaves on the tree. And as I tap on each object, I'm getting information uh, about uh, about the, the piece of equipment or the parts that I'm selecting. So this, again, this is sort of, this, you can think of this as sort of a use case, a training use case, somebody who's trying to get more familiar with, you know, with the aircraft. 
Um, and now the next thing that we'll get into is the um, is the IoT part of, of the story, where this is uh, really dedicated to you know part of the IoT part of the story, where I'm capturing telemetry data off of a computer that's inside that plane. So I get uh, I see that I'm connected. It knows that I'm connected to the network. The fan status. There's a cooling fan um, in the in the avionics bay of the of the plane. I'm at uh, 529 cycles. If I cycle that, that landing gear, it just went to 530. We have the gear positions and we have a, a constant um, you know, feed on the temperature that's coming off of the, off of the aircraft itself. All right, so to pick it up, um, yeah, so I have, so through the, through the experience, I'm able, I'm operating services that were actually authored and created inside of our ThingWorks platform. So I'm, I'm basically talking to that computer on inside the aircraft to do things like control the surfaces, the, the, uh, the control services. You may not hear it, but there's actually a motor fan inside the, this, uh, this aircraft. Uh, I can operate the landing gear, and then also I have a cooling fan. I'll be coming back to this screen, but now let's you know, kind of roll all of this up into a use case, a service use case of an inspection process uh, let's say on the on the front landing gear. I'm going to focus in on the landing gear, and let's say the maintainer is is sees a problem, you know, with the landing gear. This screen here is going to simulate the maybe the steps, the inspection steps uh, that's coming from an MRO system. All right, so we have you know these various various steps, but as a maintainer, I may want to see the the past some history about the landing gear log. So at 500 hours, we had we had these steps performed, 300 hours, we had these steps, 100 at these steps, and so on. So let's say, for instance, that I have a condition where I have a problem with this landing gear. So I'm gonna go into a fa failure condition, and what that did is that just took a, a snapshot or a picture of, of the landing gear. We see that we have the, the part selected, and we'll just go ahead and look at this, and we can see that we have a problem with that particular bracket. And so this is a markup that I'm creating of that picture that now becomes evidence that uh, as part of the fracas incident report. So we'll just go ahead and put in a, uh, a description and we'll just say a corrosion, corrosion problem. And now what's gonna happen so I'm, this is basically a form. I'm gonna hit the record button and what's gonna happen is this information is gonna go up to the PTC cloud portal and it'll come back with a creation date. That this, that's gives me the indication that, the, that this incident was then recorded back into Fracas. The evidence of that is we'll look at the Fracas report. So we'll open up our palette and this is a runtime query that's actually has sent a query to the Fracas uh, system, and it just populated the top row here of the corrosion root problem that I had just wrote in. All right, so to finish this up, we're gonna go back to our operate panel. And now what we're gonna do is, um, is simulate an overheating condition. So here I have a, uh, right now our, our uh, temperature is reading at you know, 49, 50 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna set a threshold of plus two degrees above that temperature, okay? With that, we'll hit re-baseline. So what's gonna happen now at 51.4 degrees, an alert, an automatic alert is gonna occur. So inside the, like I said, in the avionics bay, there's a cooling fan. We'll stop the fan and we'll let the, we'll let the temperature rise inside of the, uh, inside of the, uh, the avionics bay. So at 51.4 degrees, the fan is gonna start, but at the same time, it's gonna record this incident, this heat overheating problem uh, automatically. So it just happened, we just got an alert. The fan started automatically, so we'll go ahead and stop that. You know, go ahead and stop the fan, close it, and then go back to our fracas and look at that temperature, and we'll see that, that high temperature uh, issue come in. It just, just came back, so again, that was a runtime query. Uh, during runtime query, it went to the server came, and came back with that set of results. At the same time, 
be part of my alert, uh, the behavior we put in here is that we now have a banner that is uh, displaying uh, over the uh, over the plane, which is a, basically a, a live a live feed of the of the temperature sensor that's uh, inside the avionics bag. That's the conclusion of the demo. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you got a lot out, you know a lot out of it, and thank you very much.